morning everyone let's now have a look at the top lines in the finance world 23.55% overall increase in salaries, allowances and pension for more than 1 crore government staff and pensioners is expected to give a big boost to the economy as consumption depend, uh, demand in urban areas is likely to rise owing to the rising income levels. In fact, experts believe that the boost in consumption demand will pave way for the government to boost the economic growth process as well. World Bank uh, Group President Jim Yong Kim arrives in India on a two-day visit to review the progress of the priority areas including Smart Cities, Swachh Bharat Mission, Ganga Rejuvenation, Power for All and Skilling India. He visited Anganwadi Centre in New Delhi yesterday and is scheduled to visit the Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Finance Minister Arun Jaitley. Southwest monsoon is likely to hit the national capital in the next two to three days as it picks up pace and advances further to parts of northwest India. Indian Meteor Meteorological Department says overall rainfall deficiency in the country has reduced to 13%. IMD further says low pressure in Bay of Bengal is expected to bring more rains. Central Board of Excise and Customs is shedding its adversarial image. CBEC Commission survey has found the majority, 72%, believing that the indirect tax wing of the government is becoming liberal and friendly to taxpayers, but much needs to be done for it to be seen as less adversarial. In fact, that's a positive news from the CBEC point of view. Well, we were talking about 7th Pay Commission recommendations clearance, but apart from these 7th Pay Commission recommendations, we know that Cabinet also cleared uh, the approved uh, four uh, laning of three national highway projects in three states and Finance Minister Arun Jaitley has to say on speak on that as well. Let's listen to what he said. Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs may team proposals national highway ke Jinko Manzuri di gai. Four laning of Pagwada Rupnagar section of NH344A in Punjab. Dusra Odisha me Angul, A N G U L, se Sambalpur ka NH42 ka section hai. Tisra four laning ki jo approval hui. Aurangabad Telwadi, NH211 Maharashtra me. Well, these highways would obviously reduce the traffic condition in those areas, but certainly would enhance the infrastructure uh, development in the country. Well, moving on to the global markets now, to begin with the U.S. markets. In fact, the U.S. stocks closed more than 1.5% higher yesterday, helped by gains in oil prices. Also, as the global markets recovered for a day, a second day from their post-Brexit plunge, uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average closed up by nearly 285 points in its best percentage gain since March 1st of this year. Moving on to the European markets, in fact, the European stocks also soared by a Wednesday's close as global markets realized that any change to the status quo in the European Union after the Brexit vote is unlikely to change in the shorter term. So that's what we can see these figures. Uh, and moving to the Asian markets, the stocks rose in the early trade today, tracking an overnight rally on Wall Street, while the safe haven Japanese yen retreated as global markets regained a semblance of calm after last week's Brexit shock. Moving on to the Indian markets, in fact, the domestic stocks uh, uh, rose sm smartly yesterday to post their biggest single-day percentage gain in the two weeks, especially after the cabinet approved a pay hike for government employees. And global mar markets, as we were discussing, also witnessed a rally as the immediate impact of Brexit began to fade. Well, those are the updates in the finance world.